Live from KDVR Fox 31, you're watching Good Day Colorado with Steve Kelly. For now, let's head out to meteorologist Chris Tomer. And Chris, we always do these energy stories. This one's interesting. I think a lot of viewers can benefit and maybe implement some of this into their own homes. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a great story for our E-Team series. And a lot of viewers can really relate to this because it's so accessible. Solar power is really accessible. We're privileged now to have Erica Patterson, the homeowner with us, who bought into the whole idea of solar. And your impression so far? Well, I'm really, really psyched. I'm pleased and I'm glad that it was accessible in a way that I never thought it would be. And they you know? made it easy. Colorado Sunflower Solar made it incredibly easy. They explained it to me in total layman's terms. I knew what to expect. I knew what was happening. They were great. As far as expectations go, uh, what's the payback? How, how long will it take to, for this to pay for itself? Well, I'm certainly going to track it, and I anticipate like anywhere from four to five years, um, but it could be quite a bit less if we anticipate, you know, with the the you know, rise in energy costs and stuff like that. It is just the electricity right now, and the trees are going to have an effect for a while, but they explained all that to me in percentages. I really do feel like I know what to expect. Well, you're fortunate. One of the fortunate now to have the, the solar power on the roof, and uh, as you know, we get so much sunshine in Colorado, and Steve and Peggy, Erica has got a big smile on her face. You bet she should, too. Good job. <laughs> all right, thanks, Chris. Yeah.